Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. Generally my readings are love readings, so if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you probably shouldn't be watching this reading. These readings are for people that are struggling in the love arena. Um, just saying, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holding on to something. Ooh. So, you know, there, there could be a new opportunity coming in, you know, that, you, that you've that you been wanting. Maybe you've been manifesting it, but you're still holding on to something that you shouldn't be. Unable to release something and accept this new opportunity. You are making progress, however. But, okay, here you are. But you may be deceiving yourself in some way, okay, because this is deceit. This is manipulation, and it is represented by Gemini. So I'm not sure if you guys are deceiving yourself by holding on to something that is dead. You're not allowing this new opportunity to come into your life by holding on to whatever this is. I don't know what it is. You are. You're deceiving yourself. It's time to be happy. Why are you holding on? You don't, you know, and maybe it's pride, maybe it's rejection, because you've been rejected, you can't let it go, because this is a card of ego. It's no, you need to let go of the ego, let go of this situation that doesn't promise any, anything solid. It doesn't. You have a new opportunity waiting for you, if you could be, if you could invest, you could invest in yourself, you know, invest in, in the newness and the new opportunity. You need to have confidence, you need to have courage, you need to have strength, you need to get creative. You need to allow growth to happen. Um, right now, you are hindering your own progress. You are. There could be some bitterness, there could be some anger that you were rejected. That's what it looks like to me. I feel as though, you know, there's a new opportunity coming in, for sure there is that um, could lead to something solid, but you're not allowing it, okay? I feel whoever you're dealing with does have integrity. They um, are honest, but you are still holding on. You're still holding on. Other people see that you've been hurt in the past. They see that. They see that, you know, you're trying, you're still holding on to something that they see it. They see this is how other people see you, the five of swords reverse. It's time to be happy. Other people want you to be happy, but your challenge is investing, investing in yourself, being patient. Your challenge is stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's about manifesting newness. Your challenge is about being willing to shed the old and you aren't quite willing to let something go yet that doesn't, that doesn't serve you. And it's only hurting you. It's bringing conflicts into your life. It is. But your overall outcome of this reading is the Page of Cups, which is love. There's a new offer of love coming in. And you are being called to be confident with it. Allow it. You know, just go with it. It's exciting. Let me get this zoomed in. Yeah, I think somebody is rushing right into your life and you're being called to give it a chance. Yeah, there's something going on behind the scenes here. There is. There's some hidden hidden forces that are asking you to accept a new opportunity. It's like right now you're confused. You're living in some sort of illusion about something that is gone. It's gone, but you're not letting it go. You're being called to have no fear. Have no fear at all. Wish fulfillment is right around the corner. Have hope. This is a time of hope. Hope, inspiration, renewal. 
There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with someone new. But you're deceiving yourself. You are wearing a mask. This is you. This is you. You're afraid that whoever you let into your life is going to deceive you. When you should have hope. Replace those fears of deceit with hope. You know, you have this fear of, of sacrifice. You have this fear of disaster. You have this fear that if you let go of this person that you held on to for so long, you'll never, you'll never find anybody else. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are stalling needlessly. You're, you're sacrificing yourself for the wrong situation when there's a new opportunity begging you to take it. Yes. You need to let yourself love again. Just because you've been deceived so badly and cheated and hurt in the past, you know, you have, you've been brought down, doesn't mean that you can't love again. Remember when there was love. These are memories of love. Go back to that state. Go back to it. And here's the judgment card. Okay, this is reverse. It's, it's loss of faith. Refusing to wake up. Refusing to see the light. Refusing to shed the past when the past needs to be shed. Because you have a new opportunity here. You do have a new opportunity. There's a lack of awareness. Are, do you... There's no chance for this situation that you're holding on to. There's no chance. So therefore, you do have a new opportunity waiting for you. Somebody wants to offer you what they have to... You know, the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, something that is loving and solid. So I think there's a message or an offer coming in that could lead to something really, really good if you could have confidence in it. Confidence. But you have to close that door to the past. It's, it, you know, this, this. The fact that you have not step, stepped over the finish line of this past situation that you need to release is holding you back from this golden opportunity. You have a golden opportunity, Gemini. But you just need to close that door. Please close it. Forgive that it didn't work out and move on. Could have been with the Pisces. Could be with any sign. But I feel like there was a lot of, of secrets. There was that now you're scared. You're really scared. You're scared of, of the unknown. But there's an opportunity for love here. I just happened to look down. There's an opportunity for a beautiful union if you will let this person in. There's a new person. A new opportunity. Somebody that's honest. Somebody that's truthful. I think you are going to be communicating with somebody who is being honest with you. This may be somebody that you've known before, maybe when you were a child. But you might be a little uncomfortable with it because you're in your head. You're letting your thoughts get the best of you when all you have to do is step outside. Unchain yourself from whatever is not happening. You know you have this fear of sacrifice all over with the tower and this card, you, you do. This is divinely guided as well. You're being divinely guided to release and move on. You are. You're be, you know, right now you're, you're stuck. You're going to have to struggle through letting go. You have to struggle through letting go because you have this golden opportunity looking you right in the face. But you're really insecure. You're insecure with who you are. You're insecure with trusting. I can't trust you. Are you kidding me? Just because that last one was a liar doesn't mean that the next one is. You know, you need to be logical here. It's time for you to be logical. See it as it is. You've been procrastinating, stalling. It's okay to take your time, but if you don't take any steps at all, it's just going to keep you keep you where you're at. You need to take baby steps. This could lead to a lot of happiness, a lot of commitment, 
allow yourself to let this new person in, please. That's my advice. There is an opportunity. You could be receiving some communication from somebody who is genuine and they have love to offer. But you need to step outside of your headspace. Seriously, step outside of it. Be logical here. That old situ situation was insecure. Doesn't mean the rest of them are going to be. Right now, yeah, you're in your you're in your head. You're not mastering your emotions. You're letting your broken hearts from the past get the best of you. And it's it's causing no forward movement. It's not bringing you anywhere. There's no victory and success holding on to that situation that's dead. You're destined for a new path, a new chapter, a change of course is on the horizon. Allow it. This is good luck. This card, I wasn't going to pull it. It just fell right into my hand. I wondered what it is. This is a new chapter that is destined to happen. It's meant to be. Allow it. Allow it to happen. Put work into it. Put effort into a, this new chapter. So I feel like this is a week of you needing to truly let go of something that is dead. You don't need to, to live there anymore. You have a golden opportunity being presented to you that is genuine and caring and you're deceiving yourself by holding back by not letting this person in be logical with this decision work on it let it happen take baby steps this is destiny you have a change of course that is brought to you by the heavens above and it leads look at this is the pentacle it leads to something solid chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here go for it go for it go for it go for it heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other just do it allow this person into your life we're gonna get one of these gemini could be any sign stop deceiving yourself it's not getting you anywhere. There it is. Oh, it's perfect. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Take a chance. Take a chance, Gemini. There's a golden opportunity looking you in the face. Give it a whirl. Talk to you later.